Climate change has made headlines in recent years, prompting governments to take action. In June 2019, the UK became the world's first major economy to set a target of reaching net zero by 2050. But what does the term net zero really mean? Put simply, net zero refers to the balance between the amount of greenhouse gases produced and the amount that's removed from the atmosphere. We reach net zero when the amount of greenhouse gases we put in is less than the amount we take away. With the target set, just how ready are we? Recent research has shown that in the UK, only 7% of engineering employers believe they have the relevant skills to achieve net zero. And around the world, governments are having to deal with the twin challenge of revitalising their economies whilst also dealing with the effects of a global pandemic. Unexpectedly, global lockdowns have resulted in improvements to air quality and reductions in carbon emissions. This, along with a higher profile of the climate crisis, has brought the challenge of responding to climate change into sharp focus. The responsibility to drastically reduce our impact on the climate falls on all of us. But engineering has an important role to play. Specialist skills will help us solve and prepare for future challenges, such as pandemics and climate change. To better help gauge the current state of skills in the engineering and technology sector, the Institution of Engineering and Technology conducted a survey of businesses, focusing on the skills requirements to achieve the government's target of net zero by 2050. The survey found that though engineering employers understand their responsibility to climate change and are taking steps to improve sustainability, only a slim majority have a sustainability strategy one with specific activities and goals, helping their organisations reduce their environmental impact. However, there's no definition of what a sustainability strategy actually looks like. There are several challenges that continue to hold businesses back, including finding job applicants with the necessary technical skills. This leads to employers favouring reskilling or upskilling their existing staff instead of finding graduates or apprentices. Cost is another obstacle, with 3 in 10 employers citing either increased operational costs or initial investment costs as a barrier to lowering their environmental impact. So how can the industry, government and academia achieve the government's net zero targets and provide a workforce that's fit for purpose? The answer isn't a single solution, but requires a collaborative approach. We must ensure that young people understand the net zero challenge to improve work readiness of new recruits. Industry and educators need to work together to prioritise work experience and deliver training, placements and apprenticeships. Government and industry need to work with educators to build a more flexible and agile workforce, one that supports innovation and drives down cost. This will allow businesses to reach their net zero goals, equip young people with the relevant skills and decrease our current recruitment difficulties. Reaching the UK target of achieving net zero emissions by 2050 remains a vital objective for all of us.